I have no doubt that this will be an amazing experience on your ride with this new Android car stereo launcher. Click the subscribe button and let's move to the video. In order to download this application, go to the Google Play Store and search Car Penguin Launcher and Map. Then download and install the application to your Android car stereo system. Once the application is downloaded, run the application. Let's check the Car Penguin Launcher. On the home screen, you can see the audio player, speed, voice search, volume, voice record, and a few other gadgets. Next to the home button is the navigation button, which typically displays a roadmap with your location. Then, there is the call option. When the Bluetooth connection is activated, your contacts will be displayed. After the call option, you can enter your vehicle details, such as the manufacturer, model, and year. I will enter some details for demonstration. Additionally, you can upload your vehicle's image and logo. Next, there's an option to create new accounts. Beneath the gauge, there's an interesting speedometer that shows the vehicle's speed, which I will demonstrate on the road. Under the service option, you can store service data and also see weather details. Here, you can access the applications you have installed on your car stereo system. This is an important section, the settings. In the settings, you can change the language. I will keep it as English. You can also change the hour format between 12 hour and 24 hour, I will keep it as 24 hour. Distance can be displayed in kilometers or miles, but I prefer kilometers. You can select the weather unit as Celsius or Fahrenheit, let's keep it as Celsius. The marketplace option allows you to access the Google Play Store. Next is the behavior settings. Under this, you can find the default launcher settings. It is best to keep this launcher as the default one. Here, you can change the start page. It's better to set it as the dashboard. Next, you can choose to keep the screen on continuously. Additionally, there is an option to change the page transition animation. There are several options, fade, from top, from bottom, from left, and from right. You can see the differences. I kept it as, fade. Under the layout settings, there are a few more options, layout direction, it can be left to right or right to left. Navigation toolbar display, you can choose to display data with text and icons or only icons. I prefer, text and icons. In the theme mode settings, you can choose between, day mode, night mode, and auto mode. Day mode is brighter with more white, while night mode is darker. If you select, auto, the mode will change automatically based on the time. I prefer to keep it in, night mode, as it is more visible. There is also an option to change the theme color. You can select your preference, but I kept it blue. As usual, there is a premium or paid version. If you pay for this, you can access additional premium features. That's all about the settings. I tested this app on the road, shall we move on to that part? From the main menu, go to Car and select Gauge. Now you can see the speedometer. Shall we start the car and move? You can see the speedometer in action. Additionally, check the dashboard for more details. Notably, you can see the traveling distance, GPS accuracy, GPS average, and on the right side of the display, you can see the home button, record option, and volume control. These can be customized to your preference. While driving, if you switch to the navigation map, you can see the navigation data overlaid on the map. After the trip, the total distance traveled will be displayed on the dashboard. For this test drive, I traveled 1.2 kilometers. I think this Penguin launcher gives a professional look to the car stereo system and offers advanced features. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in another video. Be innovative and stay tuned to the Set and Fix YouTube channel.